Hey, what's up? Man, I gotta say something with your dumb ass talking about some reparations because this nigga free little Wayne. No, I didn't say no. That's an extreme. I'm okay. I'll let you talk. I, I apologize. Go ahead. No, no. Then what it is? I may be confusing. No, I, I was saying that if Negroes who act like y'all political and got away to shit can't figure out shit. What I'm what I'm suggesting, sir, is that he Little Wayne had a relationship with him, right? So if Little Wayne had a relationship with him. And Ice Cube said, you know, I want to meet with I want to meet with this man. Maybe I can develop a relationship with him. And uh, um, um, maybe maybe if that relationship had started two years earlier, maybe something could have happened. You know, I, I think Donald Trump is interested in making a deal. I, I, I think he's a negotiator. I don't think he's definitely not a politician. I think he finds. He's he finds he gets off on the validation of the public. You know, like he gets off on that. He gets off on moving the public center to, to his center, you know. So I think that uh, uh, I think if we would have started this two years ago. I think we could have made some headway. Now we got to start now. Now we got to start now with Biden, like day one, like to, oh, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow at 1201. We got to start with Biden. And in two years, when the House is up for election, re-election and elections and whatever. Maybe we have some headway, some headwind. I mean, some tailwind, head tail, you know, whatever. Maybe we get some heads and tails, you know. But anyways, go ahead, continue. What are you going to say? I'm about to say, as genius as some of you niggas can be, you can be also fucking stupid as well. Okay. This nigga friend, Little Wayne, ain't got nothing to do with relationships. This nigga going against saying, F you Americans for not giving me the vote. I'm going to stick to the system, do what the hell I want. I'm going to free a bunch of these political, corrupt, foul, uh, uh, a bunch of spies, a bunch of, uh, uh, what is that, uh, you know, financial corruption uh, case type people. I'm freeing all these people to stick it to the American public. He wasn't about to do shit for nothing related to black folks. He'd wait till the end of his term when he can't get this dang uh uh electoral things switched over none of this stuff to work in his favor he's gonna stick it to the american public he's going out outside of everything that's been part of the tradition the tradition of america it ain't about serving the american people he went in there to to do a self-service of his people and those connected to him that's why nothing's come out of his his presidency but scandal he ain't achieved nothing and the much people talking about he he did this for white folks for what white folks these white people poor as fuck still ain't lifted through nothing can't nobody lift up except maybe the wall street types who are able to tap into these ppp funds and all that other stupid shit but other than that what has he achieved not a goddamn thing for all you niggas who think you can lead the way and come up with uh, uh revolutionary tactics politically you niggas is backwards you can't lead shit through water you can lead a horse across a damn kiddie pool but following trump to reparations you ain't about to get that shit no four years like come on man Uh, I disagree. I, I vehemently disagree with you. I, I, I think there's an art in negotiation. I think there's value in negotiating. I don't like, I'm not interested in where I get it from. I'm really then not. Why didn't Trump get it from Trump? I hear a lot no, of you. No, know, why we didn't get it from, why we didn't get it from Obama? Why we didn't get it from, from Bush? Why we didn't get it from Clinton? Why we didn't get it from Bush? Why we didn't get it from Reagan? Why? And the list goes forward. Why we didn't get it from them? Because we never demanded it. We got to demand it. I don't care if it's a Republican or a Democrat. You have a, you, you anti-Republican. Like you anti, like you ant, it's, I don't care. No, I'm not. I'm anti-bitch motherfuckers. Oh. Ain't got nothing to do with Trump trying to well, act like he a Republican. Trump been a bitch since the day he done showed his face on TV. What y'all don't get. Uh-huh. This ain't got nothing to do with him being Republican. I vote for Republicans. Okay. When they ain't I, bitch made. I, I, y'all I, lost. Y'all niggas is caught up in this white boy liberal conservative shit. And they got y'all mind fucked. When I listen to a lot of you niggas, I see how lost and idiotic y'all sound. It ain't about none of that shit. It's about the people who are put in play. And Trump ain't put play for nobody. Bush. His motherfucking foreign ass family. Bush is the only man that I can think of off the top of my head. That's never been a politician before coming to president. 
Never. Who? Bush? Bush has been a politician. No, I, excuse me. I, 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 no, my, I stand corrected. No, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I said I meant to say Trump. And what I'm and what's lead, and what why am I saying that is maybe he's crazy enough to do it because now we're going we going back to dealing with politicians and their ideologies and their mindsets. They not it's no reason for a politician to be radical. It's not in their best interest to be extreme. It's in their best interest to stay keep the train on the railroad tracks. That's in their best interest. We need someone that's going to be extreme. That's going to watch the motherfucker be extreme. What did you get out of it? Hmm? You watched it. Let me tell you what you got out of it. You watch the country go start going through. We haven't lost the, the country, dog. Yeah. That's so retarded. That's that CNN bullshit. We ain't lost no, our fucking not. country. Regurgitating that kind of crap. We ain't lost our fucking country. country. To a I see niggas finance. stop at red lights. I go in the oh. store. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, go ahead. I'll respond. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. It's your show, man. No, 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 it. but it's respect. Go ahead. Continue. No, I treat you the same way I would. You call in your guests. Go. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, but yeah, but no, this country has started to slip into a financial. That everything's contra- con- uh, constricting. You going through a lot of constraints. You get in with uh, not paying attention to Wall Street. That has nothing to do with the reflection of the rest of the country. You dealing with a pandemic that has virtually shut everything down because of this fool not putting all the the proper uh, uh, the proper uh, department you know steps forward to prevent this type of stuff to dealing with it to where the country could have responded rapidly with it. He he them sat up under here under. Uh, uh, natural disasters, the way he treated Puerto Rico, show how how uh, buffoonish this fool is. Like this fool has no insight of how to run things. And it show even even when I was going through business school, and I remember this back when Trump had this whole apprentice crap, and they want to talk about this art of deal and all this other goofy stuff about Trump because people have the tendency to forget things. You can let things roll down the hill for a while. You can shoot somebody, mama, in about five years they'll forgot you and did it. But these fools praise this fool like he's some goddamn savant or some shit. But when it comes down to it, when studying the practice of, of Trump, he has been one of the biggest failures in American history. Everything this dude touches turned to shit. He's the Medusa of business. Ain't been nothing beneficial for nothing Trump done but for his own personal gain. Even when it comes to his family, he's sick as his own mama. These fools is clowns. You don't send people like that to run anything, even if you want to create chaos you don't create that kind of chaos to achieve anything and creating chaos you got to have a plan war is chaos and war doesn't achieve a goddamn thing well the fact that where see see here's my my mindset black people can't care about puerto rico and and i don't say that insensitively because i know what, what their country nigga this ain't about being listen let me, let me talk let me, let me finish uh, 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 the black cut nigga what you talking about let me finish. Let me finish. Ah, uh, that's your one cut off because I did cut you off. Okay. Now, <laughs> what I, we can't care about what what goes on with Puerto Rico. We can't care about LGBTQ, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. We can't care about them. We can't care about Karen and and uh, she can't get accepted to med school. We gotta focus on what our what our core needs are, and that's it. It can't be, uh, well, Puerto Rico is not getting aid, and every black person jump up. Oh, we feel, no. Pray, pray, pray to your God, because you can't do nothing about it anyway. But call your po- local politician. How about you call your local politician and say, we need reparations? And then how about you get a group, of, how about you get your street and say, we're not voting for you until we get reparations. And then your block turns into two blocks, and that's how you get that's how you get it done. Uh, uh, until we uh let me tell you what the American dream is. You work for somebody else until you're 68. I don't know what it is now, 68, 65, 69, and you get about nine to eleven years of freedom that's what the american dream is you go from box to box to box to accumulating debt 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 you get your college degree debt you get a car debt you get a house debt college debt you pay for your uh everything and your appliances home zero percent interest for 90 days debt 
<laughs> That's what it's about. We got to just focus on us. It's like when a fighter is coming, just let the fighter just focus on the fight while we worrying about what happens next. That's our problem. That's it. Just focus on us. Reggie. Yeah, I mean, I hear you, but I don't think y'all view this. Focus on us. What do you mean by staying out the system so why everybody else can run a muck through the system? No, nah, this ain't a white motherfucking country. Historically, they have maintained political power, and they have done this by positioning themselves to control political power. But over time, black folks have made gains. We must watch. We must not, not just watch. We must take account, take score for what we achieve. The thing is to run everything. This is a democracy. Everything is ran through legislation, through politics. Ain't no way of avoiding that. So you sit back like that's what to, to play like that. You sound like a damn slave sitting back. Let them do this. Nah, fuck them. The same theirs. This ain't just theirs. We don't shed too much blood being here. Some of us have the same mindset as being being our land. You don't let these fools just run amok and take it. Like this is not a white fucking country. We let every other foreigner come in here. What do they take their grounds? They don't sit on the sidelines. They don't even know what they're voting for, but they jump on it. Reggie. Like they ain't our oh, team. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. No, Reggie, this is a white man's country. Because politically, yeah, they structured it. But that don't mean it stays that way. They have created well, other things. That don't mean they, they stay in dominance of it. We can control things. But the thing you got to think of, Fred, we have come from, from being behind on shit academically, ain't been always fully educated on everything when it comes into how the system operates. The system has been new to us. We barely start to break break through the uh, brink of shit. You can't really start our account into really, really moving forward on a, on a higher academic level until like the late 60s and shit. Well, maybe before that, about the 60s. Our, our starts, we've been way behind the curves and everybody, but still, they still don't get that far ahead of us. And when we catch up, they try to rewrite the rules. But I think we're becoming too bright, too brilliant, too ready to stand to sit back and constantly let rules be in change. This is a new age. You got to think of the generations behind us. I think 2020 Negroes act too weak about shit. This shit ain't new. Our plight and struggle ain't no different than what they dealt so with. So what's the, the solution? So what's the solution? To continue fighting. Educate. That's the solution. Educate the hell out these kids and teach them pride. I bring my damn kids in here right now. They're going to have pride. You can't push ignorant shit about black folks to my kids. So what do they we do outside that. your home? So, so what do we do outside? So, so is nothing we could do outside our home? So we just vote? So we yeah. just vote for Yo, people every, that... No, it ain't just about voting. Y'all are locked in on no, that. No, we're talking about it's politics right now. We're talking about politics. We're talking... But, but so what, even in politics, it plays on your everyday life. You still must. Move I know, forward. but we're you talking about move. trying to make deals to get reparations. That's what we're talking about. We're not. Yeah, but you're bringing up Trump like, oh, we missed the bargain on that pussy. Quite ass. possibly we, we did. Quite possibly we did. Why niggas didn't jump Man, on please. it? Because all I be, I be hearing niggas say stupid ass shit like it's right. Pardon Joe, Joe, Jack, Jack him, Johnson. He pardoned Jack Johnson. For, let me, let me say this. Right. Oh, you're right. You're right. He I'm ain't sorry. vote for Trump, so he get a pass. Uh, uh, he ain't. We, 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 uh, uh, they ain't come for our vote, so he get a pass. The fuck that bullshit mean? Like, this nigga's a sitting president inside a nation where black folks is at. He's supposed to serve everyone, so we come with a demand, he's supposed to serve those demands. Otherwise, we have the power to vote him at, vote his ass out, and that's what happened. People effectively use their power to vote the whole out. He cried. He ain't cried because he lost the vote. He cried because black folks got out there and put his ass the fuck out. And everywhere he went to try to peel something was a direct attack on what black folks went out there and did. Every county, the states he went into was where black uh, black votes were super powerful because they discredit what our population is and what our strength is. And they don't re- and, and they understand where we are uh, powerful when we wake up, become organized and come together. But outside of politics, the thing is for black folks to continuously to develop themselves on an intellectual level. Learning these higher these higher competitive fields out here. That's what we sleep at. You talk with the average motherfucker, they can't even hold an intellectual conversation with you. They don't want to learn shit, but I can talk on some ignorant shit, shit that seems cool to them. You have a million motherfuckers wanting around to hear ignorant shit, lower level minded thinking shit. But they always think anything advanced in this country is is white talk. Like this is what niggas fell at. So we've had 45 presidents and one lunatic, right? 
what did the don't you know Abraham Lincoln gave slave owners reparations because he was losing his work because they were losing a workhorse? Did you know that? No, I think that was the president after who gave them southerners them rights and shit. But the the thing is, you think about this time period. You can't look at when this is time. This is the thing when you talk about people, uh, like go back in history. Is the fact that people maintain this current sense of mind. You got to go back really back in the time and think of the mindset these people coming off the plantation out of fields where they're 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 unallowed they're not allowed to be able to read to not educate themselves so they're ignorant to the system all they understand is how to work oh we get this vote let's put this vote in for this guy who liberated us da, 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 da. there's no organization and you had a few you had a few highly intellectual blacks but collectively how do you move information around you got to think how we ain't got, they ain't got technology like now. How does information pass in between these folks like that? Like they were dealing under a, a, a different set of circumstances during those time periods. And they entrusted this shit to white folks. <laughs> like, but we not like that. We're developing this, this thing. Take, progression takes a while. Progression ain't rapid. But you don't give up on it. You don't cry. I hear too many people cry this shit. Oh, the rules were... This system was set against it. Yeah, it was set against motherfuckers when you don't know it, but that don't stop a person from moving the way up. You look at the progression of a lot of people in history. There's been systems set against them. They've come on top when they continuously move through. And black people are fucking people that persevere through anything. You can't knock black folks down. You can't keep us down. But when you chop a nigga mind down and make it weak, <laughs> he's stuck. Like, I mean, we we got we ain't got too far to go. This shit can change in a generation. You just got to kill off the stupid shit. We praise too much ignorant, dumb shit. And I watched it throughout my life. I'm a South Central fucking baby. I done watched it. It's when my brother and I'm incarcerated. I talked to my homie on Instagram, a lifer in fucking prison because they fucking praise too much of the ignorant shit, the shit that we think cool. And I still hear niggas talk, talk ignorant shit like it's cool. Ain't shit cool about that shit. It's cool to reflect, but ain't the order of the day how shit operate we operate on the street rules and we're gonna always be fucked up because we fooled by that shit that intellectual shit is key to our progression that don't mean you gotta be a point dexter to be smart and how to move right i'm i'm talking okay I, that's fine i i, I want to talk about on, a, on on economics on a macro level and i'm talking about nationwide what i want to say is and the point i was saying is abraham lincoln gave those slave owners reparations. Where did it come from? It came from the White House. Right? Now, somehow, some way, they figured out in order for him to get re-elected and win the South, I need to get the slave owners on my side. So what did he do? He, he made them allies. He made them economic allies. And that's what you got to do. We have to show our value. And how we show our value on a national level is the power of the vote. And we need to galvanize our vote and say, these are our demands. Here's the Republic, their Republican Party, their Democratic Party. These are our demands. If you want our votes and you want to win these major cities, we need reparations. We need a, we need a, B, C, D. We need these done now. And I am, and, and in my opinion, the reason why the South looks the way it looks right now is because one of the reasons, excuse me, Abraham Lincoln gave the slave owners reparations and that's the reason why you know it, it, it and do i think it was donald trump would have given us reparations i it's, it's it's neither here nor there i just say we have to collectively discover the art of negotiations we have to dis discover the value of a collective vote on a national scale do the things you're mentioning in terms of in your house i I agree. Education is extremely important. I believe the local level can do a great job as an individual. I think individuals can do great job on the local level, quite possibly even the state level. But on a national level, 
is what we're talking about. Kodak Black, you know how Kodak Black got in? He had a million, he had he had a millionaire friend that knew a millionaire friend that had a millionaire friend that knew someone that worked for Donald Trump. And you know how he got in? Hey, I give you 10 grand. Give me a, give me 10 minutes with Donald Trump. I don't know how it goes, but it's a relationship. You understand? And that's the truth. You know how Duke got out that came on the show? It was because of Alice Johnson. Alice Johnson had a relationship with Donald Trump, who he freed. And he said, Alice Johnson went up to him and said, you got to release this guy named Duke Tanner. He was a fighter. It was a mistake. He was overcharged. That's the relationship. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't care who the guy is that make the decision. We have to develop the relationship. It's similar to Al Heyman. Have you met Al Heyman? We don't know who Al Heyman is. But the fact that we 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 hoping that Al Heyman hears our voice. So, so, you know, so we use a conduit and it's the fighters that come in. It's the trainers that come in. Do we know? Well, I, I would say Bob Aaron, but he comes in. But do we know the president of ESPN? No, we use Bob Aram as a conduit to get to ESPN. And that's the biz, that's the nature of the business. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, you're not wrong. Education is key. It's it's definitely critical. Uh, um, you, 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 you're right. And, like, and, 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 and even on that, that reparations talk, how everybody talks about reparations in this, that shit extends well beyond a president. And especially it's going to have to go through the house. A president that supports that for one, that's what people want because we view them as the face. But when you got all these Mitch McConnell type fools and all these other Ted Cruz's and Ricks and Torms and whoever these other fools who stand in the way of not seeing any prog pro progress in this country. These people who impede upon progress in this country are going to always be the ones that you fight in order to get anything. And that's where reparations have to be drawn from. And especially like this time period, like you're right, you got to bring it to, to Biden's doorstep. You got 50-50 uh, uh, in the Senate, which is crucial. That's mainly where a lot of black so the vice president are. is the deciding vote. Huh? So the vice president is a this, this, excuse me. Is the vice president the deciding vote? Yeah. Okay. But I, you may not have to use that if you get several of these more moderate Republicans or Republicans who have real conscience of understanding. That's why I like getting these white folks up on the show because I want to hear how they talk, getting them on here, breaking them down to real history. And a lot of white folks you get on here who want to talk or down about blacks not getting shit. When you question them, this is the other question you got to bring to a lot of whites. A lot of white folks have no history in America. A lot of them, I say about 70% of white folks who live in this country have no history longer than 50 years in this country. If they have 100 years of history in this country, it's probably about 15% of them. Most of them are new arrivals to America. So these conversations, they got to shut the fuck up. But they come in here, they blend in, they may change their last name to a Smith or some shit when it used to be Lavosky or whatever European names they come with. They can have these conversations, but being in there with Senate split where it's at right now is the perfect time to get that conversation in there. The intellectual people who are there talking at conversations, that's where you may get it. But it also may be hard coming out of what America's dealing with. If the country wasn't in this state and then it came in, it's been a perfect time to, to push for that. But it's not to say they got they probably got the money for it. But those pushes have to be done now. This country knows what what it owes the people. This country knows its ill history. Everybody's seeing it and exposing it. And 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 the deliberate intentions of other political people are hurt and plight in this country has been done through the political system. When you look through these ill ass, mainly Southern politicians who have always stood in the way of shit, even presidents, the Lincoln, I mean, not the, not even going that far, the Reagans and all that have always been the side of a damn conservative party who run the lines of we sticking it to these black folks. Yeah. Let's bring some Coke in their neighborhood. Let's douse them up that way. Push them, push them back. And then let's criminalize them while we make money to send it to other people. Like we just got to pay attention to this stuff and not to talk about don't get involved. This day when we don't get involved and we say, oh, this is a system. That's what happens to you. They push this shit in your neighborhoods and push it on you. And then you spend 10 years down the line after all your fathers and shit is gone. Didn't have to figure out, investigate, oh, these fools and stuck it to us like that. Like we, we, we got to black people got to wake, wake wake the hell up not saying you because you didn't you did your part you're doing your part but other folks like all that shit like ignorant shit need to be treated like it's some cornball shit 
not making like it's cool. Like we done made too much cool. I remember listening to Big U and he was absolutely right. We done made, we done made street ignorant shit the cool shit. And that tends to be mm. what people speak of as being what black folks are. Anytime they want to speak what black, no, that's what youthful young black folks do. They ain't black. You don't push that shit out. Hip hop ain't what black is. That's youthful, uh, that's youthful culture. Black folks are more, more elegant, man. We got an essence to us. Don't push that shit on us. And and, and and that's just the case. I watched too many. That's why this shit hurt. It bugs me to hear about that shit. I, I unlocked too many people who done played into what well, we think all that ignorant shit cool. Even with me, used to playing around with, with, with all the holes I used to run through because that shit was pushed on us and shit. Mm hmm all of my whole mission was to fuck as many chicks as I fucking could. And that's what I was on. But looking back on it, it was ignorant shit. Lucky I ain't impregnated a bunch of these chicks. That's this type of shit that we get pushed upon. Right. Is the ignorant shit is the, the, the cool shit that we thrive and strive for. And I strive to be the motherfucker to fuck the most hoes, get around homies and clown and talk about that shit. Mm -hmm. But it was my ignorant phase. It's some shit I can laugh about now. But it wasn't nothing. I could have been more advanced than what I had done. I got a mind for that shit, but I could have advanced myself had it not been one foot in, one foot in over here, then the other foot over on, on some other shit, trying to push for a professional type shit. Conflicted. Like, but we gotta stay out of we gotta we gotta brilliant our minds up, but we can't based on what our ancestors did, they came from different circumstances, mm -hmm. being well behind, uneducated and shit self-educating themselves, then going into school systems that try to miseducate them and shit. But we, we pushing through shit. And even like what people are talking about Black Wall Street, we don't even harp on the Black Wall Streets we have to this day. We talk about the ones that were lost, but we don't focus on the one. I think me and Eli, when we had a show, we was talking about, about talking about even where you live up at. Yeah. Like Darren Heights and all I'm that. glad you said that. Those are Black Wall Streets. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, DeSoto, I think they're saying we're early in front. DeSoto, Texas. Black Wall Street. Sure. Sure. Like, and we got to highlight that shit rather than looking at you go a few blocks down the, down the hill and shit. Everything fucked up. What, why is it fucked up? Because the mindsets are different. The poor, the poorest people in our societies try to try to uh, uh, live behind their means are so caught up in motherfucking material shit. Got to have the Gucci belts and the Fendi shirts and rock this. Want to buy uh, uh, cars and throw stupid ass rims on them and shit when they probably leased and all that. The mindsets are different. Just from, they ain't even, they within the same radius of each other. You go right up a hill, the lifestyle they live, the way they maintain they, the neighborhoods, the way the activities in their homes are so different. And that's just the challenge in the mindset. That's the only thing that's different. We got a lot of black, current black Wall Street. Now that even white folks can fuck with. And those used to be white neighborhoods and shit. But when your mindset right, you value your shit. Even where we come from in South Central, those are nice neighborhoods where we lost out on it. Losing focus of where we should have been at, partying, having mm. having the, the good things in life until we turn that shit into other shit. Get caught up in game banging and shit. But that's all I have, Fred. That shit just passionate uh uh rub me like hearing that pussy name Trump. But I got but you. black folks can achieve this shit. And we doing that shit. And we gotta realize that. Like, fuck whose system this was back in the 1700s. This shit is shifted. The motherfuckers from the 1700s will be shitting on themselves. They'll probably ship themselves back to Europe seeing this shit. That's all I got, Fred. Thanks, Fred. Yes, sir. 12 a.m. If y'all want more, click on his name. If y'all want more, click on his name. He's going live in about 45 minutes. <laughs> oh, man. You know, it's, it's yeah, okay. We'll leave it on that note. We'll leave it on that note. Hey, what's up? What up, fam? Hey, how you hey, feeling? I got a question. Oh, good dialogue between you, you and Red. Good points made. Good points on both sides. Mm -hmm. I feel, I feel both y'all energy. I, you know, it's good y'all could disagree on some topics, but it's, it's un, what, what is clear. Uh, the bottom line, you know, y'all both know where the where the finish line is at. You know. So. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> But uh, why why the barbershop thing ain't ain't working? <laughs> oh man, because the cord is short. Whenever the cord is showing, I done forgot to cut it on. But now uh, we we locked in. Now we got to start the show over. Right, right. We got to get the high step back in. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, appreciate it. I I have a I have a new phone. 
So uh yeah, I noticed that, that. I, when you call it's a new number, huh? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now it's, it, 